Science tells us that whatever one eats, it has an effect on one's behavior. Why then does Islam allow Muslims to eat non-vegetarian food? Since eating of animals could make a person violent and ferocious. What we eat, it does have an effect on our behavior. That's the reason we Muslims, we are not permitted to eat the violent and ferocious animals, the carnivorous animals like the lions, the tigers, the, le the leopards, etc. We only eat the peaceful and docile animals, the cattle like the cow, the goat, the sheep, etc. Because we are peaceful and loving people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, Surah Al-A'raf, chapter number 7, verse number 157. Those who follow the unlettered Prophet, whom they would find mentioned in their scriptures, in the law and in the gospel. They would find in the gospel. يأمرهم بالمعروف وينهاهم عن المنكر ويحل لهم الطيبات ويحرم عليهم الخبائث. He commands them. يأمرهم بالمعروف. He commands them to do that what is good. يأمرهم بالمعروف وينهاهم عن المنكر and tells them, prohibits them from doing that what is evil. ويحل لهم الطيبات and permits them those things that are tayyib, that are good. وَيُحَرِّمُ عَلَيْهِمُ الْخَبَائِثِ and prohibits them from those things that are khabais, those things that are bad, those things that are not good. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, Surah Al-Hashr, chapter number 59, verse number 7, وَمَا آتَاكُمُ الرَّسُولُ فَخُذُوهُ وَمَا نَهَاكُمْ عَنْهُ فَانْتَهُ and take what the messenger gives you and abstain from that which he tells you to abstain from. So whatever our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, tells us to do, we do it. What he tells us to abstain from, we abstain from those things. Sami'na wa atana. For us Muslims, the ultimate and the thing that is the most important, it is the glorious Quran and the authentic teachings of our beloved Prophet Muhammad. May peace and blessings be upon him. Whatever the glorious Quran and whatever the authentic teachings of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, tell us to do, we do. What the glorious Quran and authentic hadith tell us to abstain from, we abstain from those things. And certain types of animals are prohibited for us Muslims. And these are mentioned in the hadith of our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, including the hadith that is mentioned in Sahih Muslim, wherein our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he prohibited certain types of animals. Four types of animals are prohibited for us Muslims. The first are the carnivorous animals like the lions, the tigers, the leopards, the animals with the canine teeth. The second are certain reptiles like the snakes. The third are certain rodents like the mice, rats, etc. The fourth are birds with claws and talons, for example, eagles, vultures, etc. So these four types of food, these four types of animals are prohibited for us Muslims and we Muslims we do not eat the violent and ferocious animals the carnivorous animals like the lions the tigers etc we are peaceful and loving people and we eat the peaceful and docile animals like the cow the goat the sheep etc so I hope that answers your question